Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the preceding lesson, we discussed on the introduction, classification, and mechanism of action of sedatives and hypnotics. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this lesson, we shall try to understand a type of sedative hypnotic drugs known as barbiturates, their chemistry, structure activity relationships, and clinical uses. The hypnotic activity of the first barbiturate, that is barbital, was discovered by Fischer and von Mehring in 1903. The synthesis of 5-5 disubstituted barbiturates was further undertaken on the basis of observation that the hypnotics sulfonmethane also called sulfonal and amylin hydrate had quaternary carbons. It was assumed that quaternary carbons might be required for hypnotic activity and because of the simplicity of their preparation disubstituted barbiturates would be a convenient source of such compounds. Since then hundreds of barbiturates were synthesized and have been tested for the possible pharmacological properties such as sedative hypnotic activity anti convulsant activity and general anesthetic activity after having a long period of extensive use as a sedative hypnotic drugs barbiturates have been largely replaced by much safer drugs known as benzodiazepines Barbiturates are chemically known as 2,4,6 trioxy hexahydropyrimidine or 6 hydroxy uracil or 1,3 diazinane 2,4,6 trione. It is an organic compound based on a pyrimidine heterocyclic skeleton. The numbering system is same as in the pyrimidine heterocyclic ring. It is a structure in which perhydropyrimidine substituted at C2, C4 and C6 by oxo groups. Barbituric acid is the parent compound of all barbiturate drugs although it itself is not pharmacologically active it is an odorless powder soluble in water barbiturates are structurally cyclic ureides in general the ureides or the acyl derivatives of urea fall into two groups monoureides and diureides Monoureides result from the substitution of a hydrogen atom of one of the amino groups of urea by an acyl group for example carbromol which is chemically bromo diethyl acetyl urea and diureides where a hydrogen atom of each amino group is substituted by an acyl group for example diacetyl urea barbiturate was first prepared by a german chemist adolf von beyer in 1864 He reduced alloxan bromide or alloxan dibromide now called as 5,5 dibromo barbituric acid with hydrocyanic acid and later by reducing dibromo barbituric acid with a combination of sodium amalgam and hydrogen iodide. In 1879 a French chemist Edouard Grimox synthesized barbituric acid from malonic acid urea and phosphorus oxychloride. Malonic acid has since been replaced by diethyl malonate because using the ester avoids the problem of having a deal with the acidity of the carboxylic acid and its unreactive carboxylate. The reaction shown here is the synthesis of barbituric acid by condensing urea or its derivatives with the malonic acid derivatives. Barbituric acid as such does not possess central depressant activity but the presence of alkyl or aryl groups at position 5 of the structure confers sedative hypnotic activity many 5-5 disubstituted barbituric acids and 1-5-5 trisubstituted barbituric acids have been introduced into medicine as sedatives and hypnotics some compounds are given intravenously for the use of general anesthesia these are known collectively as barbiturates because of their relationship to barbituric acid barbiturates in which the oxygen at position 2 is replaced by sulfur are called thiobarbiturates the carbonyl group at c2 takes on acidic character because of lactam lactam tautomerization alternatively known as a keto enol tautomerization which is favored by its location between the two electronegative amylo nitrogens According to Sandberg the acidity of the barbiturate must be within certain limits in order to possess hypnotic activity the structure of 5-5 disubstituted barbituric acids reveals their mild acidic character the barbiturates which do not have methyl substituents at the nitrogen 
have their pKa values of about 7.6 and those with a methyl substitution at nitrogen have pKa values about 8.4. The free acids have poor water solubility and good lipid solubility. Barbiturates predominantly exist in lactam or trioxo form. Addition of a strong base converts these compounds into the salt of their dioxotatomer which are water soluble compounds. The barbiturates do not dissolve readily in water but their sodium salts dissolve in water forming alkaline and often unstable solutions. Structure activity relationships of barbiturates. As discussed, barbiturates are derivatives of a cyclized ureide of malonic acid commonly referred to as barbituric acid which is itself devoid of sedative hypnotic, angiolytic and anticonvulsant activity. However, the replacement of both hydrogens present at C5 with alkyl or aryl groups confers the activity, which means in order to exhibit central depressive action, barbiturates must contain two substituents on C5 of the hydrogenated pyrimidine structure. If one hydrogen is available at position 5, tautomerization to a highly acidic trihydroxypyrimidine having a pKa value of around 4 can occur. Consequently, at physiological pH of the compound is largely in anionic form and there is a little non-ionic lipid soluble compound available to cross the blood brain barrier. Hypnotic activity increases with lipid solubility until the total number of carbon atoms for both substituents at C5 is between 7 and 9. It is to note that increase in the sum of the carbon atoms decreases hypnotic activity in spite of further increase in lipid solubility. Barbiturates with short side chains like in barbital lead to longest duration of action because of a slow entry of the drug into the central nervous system. In contrary, phenobarbital has a less prolonged action because of the more number of carbon atoms present on the structure. Also, within the same series that is having the same number of carbon atoms, the branched chain isomer has a greater lipid solubility and hypnotic activity and shorter duration of action than the straight chain isomer. Thus, phenobarbital is more potent hypnotic than amobarbital. The unsaturated allyl, alkenyl and cycloalkenyl derivatives are more hypnotic than the corresponding saturated analogs with the same number of carbon atoms. Elicyclic or aromatic substituents at C5 are more potent than the aliphatic substituents with the same number of carbon atoms. Methylation of nitrogen at position 1 increases lipid solubility of the drugs and shortens the duration of action. It also can strengthen a drug's anti-epileptic properties while methylation on both nitrogen atoms leads to convulsions. For example, mephobarbital, methorbital, methohexital and hexobarbital are the barbiturates with N1 methyl substitution. Methohexital is used as the sodium salt as intravenous anesthetic. Methyl phenobarbital has an anticonvulsant action similar to that of phenobarbital but it has a less marked hypnotic action. Introduction of the polar groups such as hydroxy, amino, carboxyl or keto group into alkyl side chain at C5 of the structure decreases lipid solubility and abolishes hypnotic activity. Replacement of oxygen with sulfur at C2 position yields thiobarbiturate derivatives which leads to increased lipophilicity and rapid penetration of blood brain barrier. These thiobarbiturates have more strength as a hypnotic rather their oxygenated analogs upon intravenous administration. However, their low solubility in water and localization in fat storage makes them unfit for oral use as a hypnotics. Therefore, compounds like thiopental are ultra short acting barbiturates. They are used as intravenous anesthetics in surgery or for inducing anesthesia prior to inhalation anesthetic use. There is a considerable variation in the duration of action of barbiturates and they may be roughly classified as long acting barbiturates, intermediate acting barbiturates, short acting barbiturates and ultra short acting barbiturates. Refer the previous video for further explanation of this type of classification. Clinical uses of barbiturates. Barbituric acid can form a large variety of barbiturated drugs that act as CNS depressants. 
As of 2007, more than 2550 barbiturates and related compounds have been synthesized with 50 to 55 in clinical use around the world at present. The first to be used in medicine was barbitol, trade name Veronol, starting in 1903 and the second phenobarbital was first marketed in 1912. Barbituric acid is a chemical building block in the laboratory synthesis of riboflavin that is vitamin B12 and a method of producing the pharmaceutical drug minoxidil. Overdoses of barbiturate cause respiratory depression, cyanosis, circulatory collapse, stupor, coma and possibly death. Barbiturates are sometimes used to antagonize the CNS stimulant effects of various drugs such as epidrine, dextroamphetamine and theophylline. Butobarbital and phenobarbital are most commonly used for this purpose and they probably supersede benzodiazepines in this respect. Barbiturates still find use in the emergency treatment of convulsions and poisoning by convulsant drugs. Phenobarbital, amylobarbital, pentobarbital and thiopental as their respective sodium salts are used intravenously for the purpose. The use of phenobarbital and methylphenobarbital in the symptomatic therapy of epilepsy is still common. The very short-acting barbiturates continue to be employed as intravenous anesthetics. These are being replaced by benzodiazepines for pre-anesthetic medication and basal anesthesia. The barbiturates are also employed as diagnostic and therapeutic aids in psychiatry. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the barbiturates chemistry, structure activity relationships and clinical uses. In the next video, we will learn the individual barbiturate drugs. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.